So on to the big one, Uncharted. <laughs> oh my god there was a trailer for the uncharted movie um it was okay i don't think the trailer was bad um can you not stop getting tom holland to just play peter parker yeah in different so, situations please here's the thing, here's the thing. <laughs> this looks like a good movie but it doesn't look like a good uncharted movie it looks like a very a lot of people say it looks like a generic action movie which i agree but uncharted kind of is a generic action movie that isn't the bad part for me, what makes Uncharted great, because like I said, the story and everything is very generic Indiana Jones action adventure. It's the characters that make Uncharted what it is. And the actors don't necessarily feel like the characters that they're portraying, and they're portraying iconic characters. So if there's anything you have to get right in this, it's the characters and how the people acting portray those characters. And Mark Wahlberg and um, Tom Holland just aren't giving off Sully and Nate energy. Mark Wahlberg was originally supposed to play Nate. Yeah, like, it was originally right. not supposed to be a lot of people... uh... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, it originally wasn't supposed to be like a young Nathan Drake movie. It was originally supposed to be like an actual Uncharted adaptation. He was supposed to play Nathan Drake. And that wouldn't have been bad. Yeah. But then, so... like, time passed. He's a little older now. And I'm like, okay, well, I wouldn't mind a young Nathan Drake movie. But then they got Tom Holland. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, well a lot of people are saying that like Mark Wahlberg feels more like Nathan Drake than Tom Holland does in that trailer, <laughs> which I kind of agree with. Like at the very end, he had a very Nate moment with the um, the Irish dude or the Scottish dude or whatever. Um, yeah, no, that was funny. I'm not going to lie. I did laugh at that. That part was cool. <laughs> I was like, huh? And that's that the thing. I think I'm going to enjoy this movie. I just don't think it's going to necessarily feel in terms of the characters like an Uncharted movie. Um, I can agree with that. I can totally agree with that. I think something, else, gonna... something else that's missing. Nate makes a lot of different noises when he's falling and climbing. And I don't know if maybe they cut it out because of the music, but Tom didn't make any noise. But actually in the scene when he was falling out, I think they cut the music out as soon as that, as soon as he started, like the whole Uncharted 3 airplane thing started happening. Oh my God, I have my own personal... Like oh my. He, like when he's climbing and falling, he makes a bunch of noise. He goes, whoa, 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 like all that stuff. And he, none of those things happen. Like, I feel like they're missing, like every video game at a um, live action adaptation, they kind of just miss the point of what makes us like these games. And it's the characters. The characters are what do it. And they, if they can't get the characters right, like why would you make a Resident Evil movie without either Chris or Leon? Why would Wait, you do really that? do that? Why would you make a Resident Evil movie without Chris or Leon? Did they really do that though? Bro, Chris and Leon didn't show up in those Resident Evil movies until like the sixth or seventh. Wait, really? I haven't seen a single Resident Evil movie, so I, no, I no. wouldn't know. That's, actually, that's not, kind of funny to me. Yeah, I think majority of the characters in those first few movies are original characters, and Wesker doesn't even show up until like the fifth movie or something like that. Imagine a Resident Evil movie without Wesker. That's kind of like dude Sad. and yeah like here's the thing i keep saying this doesn't look like a bad movie it's just the characters don't feel like uncharted and that's that's a big factor of making at this point this should have been an original movie like the uncharted name should not be on it <laughs> here's the thing though we could be wrong we could get another trailer where tom holland actually does act more like nate and he feels more like nate i'm still holding out a little bit of hope that maybe what they showed, what they showed, wasn't a great representation of what this film would be. I don't want to make it seem like I'm knocking it too much because I don't think it'll be bad. Um, I think I'll enjoy it. Um, but I feel like I would prefer that they hire someone if they wanted to go to young group and and have these characters age up, uh, you know, with time, so they can make a lot more of these movies. I feel like they, I would prefer a a lesser known actor who acts more like Nathan Drake and a lesser known actor that acts more like Sully than two famous actors that they hired simply because they're famous and they'll get people in seats to portray those characters. You know what I mean? I totally agree, but I also have an, like another issue with it is that like they're combining movies. Yeah. So or they're combining games into, into the movie problem. after they said they weren't going to touch on any of the movie stuff and I'm like that or on any of the game stuff and I'm like, whoa. Yeah. You kind of lied, because that's, that's kind of what this is. That doesn't bother me too much, 
because like I said, for me, I'm more there for the characters and I want the story to be good, obviously. But they could, if they just start combining stories from different games, I wouldn't be too mad. Um, I would prefer that they went after like new treasures instead of the um, old ones. But I wouldn't mind seeing like El Dorado again. Like, I mean, it's the city of gold. Of course, you're going to want to do the city of gold. That's like the most basic, like treasure hunting place. That's there. literally the plot of the second national, first national treasure? Was, second national treasure. The second one, the second one was Shambhala. The first one national was- Are you sure? You I haven't seen National Treasure in like five years. Oh, you're talking about National Treasure. I thought you were talking about Uncharted. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about National Treasure. I was like, what? No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think they went after Shambhala. I'm pretty sure they went after Shambhala. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, did, I miss no. a, did I miss a National Treasure movie? Was there National Treasure 1.5 or something? I just didn't see it. Like, yeah. Makes me want to replay Uncharted 2. I love that game. Um, literally my favorite oh, game. I kind of want to replay all the Uncharted. Like, I, I love Wait, that game so much. I say, you still haven't played 4, have you? I played a little bit of four, but I haven't like beat it. I haven't like sat down to make like significant to say, progress. In it. I was about to say the remastered version is coming out, but you don't even have a PS Five. All right, you you don't gotta. All right, listen, listen, <laughs> Daddy Warbucks, you don't gotta, you don't gotta rub it in my face, okay? You don't gotta rub it in my face. I couldn't afford it. I actually got another email from PlayStation saying you've been invited to buy a PS Five. I'm like, stop hitting me up when I don't have money. God. Yeah, I jumped on that opportunity when I saw it. Um. But it's yeah, how they wait it. for me not to have money to send the email. Like they're like monitoring my bank account, and they're like, "Oh, he doesn't have any money. Let's just taunt him a little bit more." Because I actually don't physically or even digitally own Uncharted Four. I borrowed it from my uncle when I first played it and beat it. I don't. And you never it. give it back, you little thief. No, I give Terrible. it. Back. I give it back. I just don't. I don't own it. So I'm excited to replay it remastered because I haven't. I played every other Uncharted game more than one, except for the first one. I've only played the first one once. Um, but all the other Uncharted games I played more than once. Um, I don't want to play the first one again, honestly. That boat level, I hate it, and I'm not doing that the, again. The boat level ruined the entire game. <laughs> yes, it literally, I never want to play that again again because of that boat level. I hated it so much. But That uh, boat level wasn't even the worst part of the game to me. Like, I love the first Uncharted game, but that, that wasn't the worst part to me. I wonder if they're going to stick with the whole, like they do with Indiana Jones and they do with Uncharted, where at the end, something supernatural randomly happens <laughs> every time. I mean, in Uncharted, supernatural stuff happens all the time. Yeah, the only time supernatural stuff doesn't happen is in the fourth one and um, Lost Legacy. So, like, those are more grounded. But, like, the first three, supernatural stuff happens all the time. It's great. The last level of Uncharted 2, just, just because you got me thinking, you got me thinking about Uncharted levels that I hate. The last level of Uncharted 2 has got him like my least favorite boss I fight mean, in video game history. That was so stupid. Yeah, you just have to run and gun. You just have to run in a circle. <laughs> and the whole the whole arena is like super confusing. Like it's like a weird little maze, and like you die so many times just trying to figure it out. Yeah, because it's a, it's a lot of jumping and climbing. Like, it is so confusing. I thought I was just bad, but I came across a Reddit post talking about, like, some of the worst video game boss fights in history, and that was on there. I was like, oh, thank God, I'm not the only person who, like, yeah, is I'm actually terrible it. at that boss fight. I'm used to it because I've played it so much, but it's, it's definitely annoying. 